got it, I got it, I got it. Cops is on us, cops is on us. Watch this, watch this. Be careful, Tom. No need right. more heat. Watch this. There go your ankle, stupid. Oh! Yo, first of all, hold on, bro. Hold on, first of all, look at this. I don't even gotta say much. Look at this, bro. <laughs> Yo, y'all see it? <laughs> y'all see it? Y'all see it? Look at this. Y'all like see it? What's up, baby? Listen, I just ordered three new Nike techs. This is one of them. Yes, bro, look at this. Look, I bought this, by the way. I don't got no baby mom. I don't got no sugar mom to buy me nothing. I bought, look at this, bro. I know y'all see it, bro. Stop, stop playing. Look at this, bro. Nah, let me stop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen up. I want to welcome you guys all to our very, very first official episode on Mafia the definitive edition now if you guys are not familiar with mafia and what the game is basically mafia is like a mafia game it's a full playthrough it's around 10 hours now listen we got a couple of series going on right now we got call of duty modern warfare we also have this one just coming out right now as well we're looking like it's gonna be an action-packed december okay now if you guys haven't also noticed i've been also playing a lot of story mode games recently on the channel and to be honest that's because there hasn't really been a lot of games catching my eyes um but one thing that i really had in mind when creating this channel is to play a game and actually finish it and i struggle to do that a lot on the main channel which is why i kind of created this channel so that way we sorry excuse me so that way we can do whatever we want and to be honest here we are mafia the definitive edition now listen up <clears throat> sorry voice crack listen up mm -hmm. if y'all want to see this as a series this is going to sound crazy but y'all did it last time and i want to see y'all do it again i want to see ten thousand likes nothing less you could always give me more because y'all know I take it all in, baby. I take more in. Huh? Pause. Y'all can give me more, but I want to see 10,000 likes on this video. Nothing less. That's it. 10K. If y'all hit that in three days, I'm going to give y'all like three, four days. Y'all hit that. Boom. We got a series. What's up? All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. Mafia Definitive Edition. Also, I do want to say this is... um. Whoa. Hey, look at this music they got going on. Hey. My name is Tommy Angelo. Tommy Angelo. I run the biggest mob in Chicago. I'm the big gangster. If you fuck with me, I'm booming you in your head. Hey, now hold on. Look at this. I'll be a good actor. Look at this. My name is Tommy Angelo. Back in 1685, I ran the biggest mob in all of Chicago. People respected me as an OG gangster. And I was, because every time I walked in that crib, that mothers would be wide open, legs open. What the fuck is they talking about? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> hey. Hey, look at this. The vibe is setting through. We in New York. Or I think, I think we in Chicago actually. I like this. Hey. Hey. I got the Nike tech on. I also got a techie on. And I'm not talking about this Nike tech. I'm talking about my nine tech. The Tech 9 hits you in your dome, injure your spine. Hey, let me stop, sorry, sorry. Ooh, look how clean this looks. Hey, I like this. Graphics, music. Mafia, woo! 10K likes, nothing less. Look how beautiful it is. Andrew Bongarino as Tommy Bongarino. Jeremy Luque as Poli Angelo. Don DePera as Sam. You know what's so crazy? I've actually wanted to live in times like this. Like, uh, the year is like 1950s, 1940s, right? And everything is so antique. But in their time zone, it actually doesn't even look antique. It just looks normal. Like for us, I'm pretty sure 100 years down the line, everything is going to look so like extremely unique. Like you got Teslas, you got these new cyber cars. And to be honest with you, I could definitely see myself living in a time like this. Number one, I'd probably be the richest man because I know what to do back then. But yeah, I know what to do now back then. But back then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like 
This is my type of vibe. I really, I, I like the way they dress. Just looks so antiquish and modernish, and it's like it's a way of art. It's a form of art. The cars, the workers, how they serve food, hot dog stands, all that. Like it just, I don't know. Yeah, you still you still see that nowadays, but it just the vibe and the atmosphere is different. Should I say? Am I about to get G-checked or something? Is that a dog in the game or is that my dog? I really hope that's a dog in the game. Alright. You Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. Tommy Angelo. Alone. <laughs> no self-respect and bad just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just Sorry. a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No thanks. Suit yourself. So you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a great why it look like he got roaches on this hat i'm not hey, looking yo. for any uh, associates good because i'm on the nut <clears throat> can't even pay for the coffee damn but i got plenty to trade well, let's hear it how long you been in town three years caught my teeth in empire bay well they handed you the morello case right out of the gate that's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Hmm. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money, some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Okay. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back. Litter of guess. kids is crazy. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, nah, that's not true. In my world. It ain't true. It's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. Your oh. neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. <laughs> no, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Damn. Boss. Yeah, you stick around <clears throat> and tell me your story and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I mean, what's wrong with that, bro? You can't take care of a man? Chris, I don't know how everything got so hmm? balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in 30. An offer you can't refuse, 1930. <clears throat> I mostly drove nights because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! I remember this because I see I've actually played the beginning of this game. If y'all remember on the main channel. Oh, 
Tommy guns, baby. Son of a bitch! Watch out! Get up, Polly! There's a taxi here! We'll be okay! Move it! Come on! Damn, he even opened up the door for him, gangster. We're through. Anywhere. Fast. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna drive. I got a gun pointed at you. Alright. They catch up, we're dead. Relax. Get to walk away. Relax. Put that gun down, man. Well, you got trouble. Put that drive. gun down before I fucking took you out this car, there. you fucking criminal. It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Alright. How many cars we got following? One for now. Okay. Look how he's coming out! Gangster! Bro, why are they hitting us? Alright. It's a good uh, good to know where I drive. You don't get to ask questions. We need to get right. over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Giuliani Bridge, huh? Your leg okay up there. Alright. Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the dock. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyway. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want right. to go. So do that. One in here, one ear, one ear in, one ear out the other. I got you, my boy. Oh, sorry. Look, I didn't even hit it. That's how you know I'm a good driver. Anyone behind us? No, we good. Or the ah shit. I got it. I got it. Go. I got that. I know right. some shortcuts that'll slow him down. How? I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. All right. I'm gonna shake him off. Here we go. Sorry, civilians. <laughs> that was your right. shortcut. I lost him tonight. Not all of them. All right, I got These it, bro. These guys really don't like it. Do I'm on it. Oh shoot. Sorry. Partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. I got it. More he knows, I got more it. chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Look at this. Come on. There we go. They're missing a taillight. A headlight, sorry. One hell of a wheel, man. I'll give you that. They must have sent word out. There's okay. more and more of them. We're not going to last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. I got it. Uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Oh, my God. Yeah. We can make it. I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can. Yeah, I don't what think we're gonna make it, y'all. Just sit tight and pray. Oh, we made it barely. Hey, we did that. Before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now. I got you, relax. I didn't see this coming. Think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. All right, interesting. The game is kind of uh, I don't know how to say it. Okay, we're close. Interesting. Reminds me of GTA a lot. A little over in front of that bar. It's in the area's place. At yeah, least the mechanics. The Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the dawn or not? The dawn. Is that the dawn? That is the dawn. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. 
Good. Don Silieri nope. wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. Yeah. See you around, kid. See you around, Sam. See, I like this because it's like, ah, I've always wanted to live in a time like this. The way they be like talking, the way they be like acting, the cars, oh, this is my vibe. I open the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. What changed his mind? Chapter complete. An offer you can't refuse. Running man. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? A little bit of both. Always driving. Shit. You get into the taxi? Alright. Where are you headed to, ma'am? So, where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Sounds good. Come on, St. Michael's Church. please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make sure I'm the last two, bro. All right, so turn on the speed limiter. Where's the speed limiter? Right over, oh, there it is. Turn that racket off. I can't okay. hear myself think. Okay, all right, sorry. Relax. Why are you giving me attitude, better. lady? You acting like I won't break check your stupid ass. So, right? church. <laughs> She's in a video game. Eyes on the road, please. Relax. I got him, huh? Don't worry about it. Tammy Versetti over here. I, I can take care of myself. Relax. All right? You ever seen a donut in your life? You gotta make sure you feel one. Watch this. I didn't mean that in a sexual way. Relax. All right? Stop there. By the I already know it. I already know it. There you go. Here you go. Adios. St. Michaels. Ain't no fucking way. 30 cents? Do you think you're gonna escape my car? My taxi ride? Without giving a tip? Pause. That old lady has something coming to her. What do you mean by that? And I promise you it ain't God, cause she going to church. She gonna meet my fist. Yo, where to? Why? Can I even hop out? They're all the same. Ooh, you better watch how you talk to me, cause I'm about to swing on your fucking head. Can't drive without the radio. Stupid. Better find a new fit. All right. All right. Search the streets of Last Haven. Heaven. Watch out, sucker. I'm in a better taxi. That's why you got zero customers. I just dropped off one customer. Hello? No! No? Okay. Alright. Sorry. Sorry. Taxi! Get in. Where to, my friend? Art gallery. Give me there quick. Gotcha. Sure. Quick I can do. Quick I can do. Time remaining. Oh, I'm time. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive. So do that. Hey, relax. Yo, what's up with everyone having an attitude? Look at him out there. 
The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I agree. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's right. anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. Thanks, I I'll won't. try not to. Damn, so we made five, six, seven, eighty cents. All right. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. I know. On to the next. All right, at least we're making some sort of bread. Get your hey, money up, not your money up. I got you, man. Where to? Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. All right. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. All right, sounds good, my boy. Got any good fares today? You know what? You There's might be some. my first. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab ride since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. That's the only right. reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. You know what? Can't see than... enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yes, yeah, so if they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> This city's corrupt as all hell. Is it? Sure is. I forget, we're living in like the Great Depression. Here on, on the corner, please. I got you. A nice tip. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. All right, Lucio. Lucio. Right, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Off to the coffee stand. Whoa, Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Who are you? Yeah? <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Yari's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while. Eh? Damn! <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. All right. Brush up the sprint. Okay. Why is he not running? Yo, he almost swung on me. Why is my character not running? Hello. Running through. Running through. Watch out. Watch out, you fucking criminals. Hey, why are they playing? Why are they playing this SpongeBob ass, Looney Tunes ass music? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, we got a lead. All right. All right. Yo, they're not hopping these fences like me. Hey. Sorry. I'm on my way, old man. Look at this. <laughs> How you doing, kid? Dino, Damn. Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. OK. 
Look at it. Damn. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. This is why I want to be in times like this. Because you can't do this no more. I think. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's going to want to hear about this. This is so interesting. Chapter complete, running man. Hey, first chapter of the day, baby. What's going on here, fellas? That's the dawn, right? What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes. I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park okay. their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. You sound like you dick riding him, bro. Relax. I get he's a Don and whatnot. Shit, you ain't gotta do all that, though. When you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Sounds good. Shit, we about to get our. No one else back. knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. Alright. The boss finished yet? Nah, I'm going to par. Alright. Read note. Because I ain't reading in that cursive. Don's salary. I'm writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. Why am I talking into an Italian accent? It will be a wonderful day, and for the world to see that the occasion has uh, uh, occasion has how you say it, has your blessings, you will make it even more special, memorial, memorial, memorable. Who's the new guy? Find anything good? Tabby. Yeah, I'm I. Open him out. I'm watching. He's gonna drive the ball. Got it. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah. it. Prohibition to stay. Production and sell alcohol to remain illegal. Oh, yeah. This was the times. Tell me, man. Something about this. I'm going to Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's going to sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! relax. Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Martos. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> all right. Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know Damn, what Damn, gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Just open the door on my head? Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Okay. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Yo, it's well, you can, can, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. 
<laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I was busting your balls as well. Like. You got that, Ralph? Damn, Just relax on the old you sport. Can't. Tommy. Relax, old sport. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. Hard. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> this laugh is funny. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Damn, dude. Wait, what? Yo, that's crazy. I wanna show you something I've been my mom could have 20 years ago. Yo, cut that brake off. If I know Ralph, he probably got a ticket out of our yard. Hey, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. Yo, get your legs back by all means, my boy. It's a tin can. So, is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. Still no car accidents. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends. Hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Sorry, didn't mean to. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay, as long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. I got it. Some man. of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. We keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Who hmm. us? You got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Even the, the acting, just the like, I don't mind just letting it play. It's, the places we it's actually good, to. like, talk. You know, it's interesting. In these places, there's tables, there's Their food, verbal communication is very, uh, seating my charts right now. It makes no sense. Like, I don't know what I just said. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, hmm. try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. All right. I mean, we got a baseball bat, some all top. What could go wrong? Nothing. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. Okay. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides, you're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town. You start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. Geez, watch the road! Sorry. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town. You start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. Okay, it's close by. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. Okay. There's some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Hey, please. Come on. Be more careful. Over here. I'm you coming. Gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? See if you get shot. Wow. I hope you get shot. You are shot. Okay. You go quiet. You know how to go quiet. Right? Watch out. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Get there someday. Alright. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Okay. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their trunk busy while you creep up and jump from behind. I'm real good at okay. distracting. That's the best thing. Ah, the boss gets plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Make sure you look careful. As I get the money, I'm pretty sure they heard that, no? Uh, Okay. Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. 
What the hell are you doing back there? Okay. Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep looking out there. Dino. Dino told you. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town. Okay, watch this. A black guy. And Dino makes you cut. Got him. Got him. What's up, gangster? All that shit you was doing? All that rah rah? Hold on. I got it. I got it. Where's the ba baseball bat? Let me get it. Destroy cars. Now let's get Hold on. To these cars. How? Take your bat and start swinging. Wait, where's the bat? Oh, right here. Alright. There we go. There we go. Oh, crap. What? Hold on. Get away from the car. Oh, watch out. Oh, God. Got some kind of there we wish. go. There we go. There we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? Run up on me. You get down. I'm stupid. Watch your eyeballs. Bang bong. Head like dummy. Bummy. Watch this. Watch out. Yeah. You got that nice and good. There we go. Oh, damn. All right. Old block heard that. Oh, wait. This one, too? Hold on. There we go. That's great. We there we go. go. We can take Dino's car. Where's that? How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. There we go. Old ways are the best ways. Hurry up, get in. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here oh, before God. the bull show. There's Don't let him get away. All right. There we go. Wait, what about our car? Oh shit. What about our car? Cops. So, uh, okay. what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. All right. Now they're pissed. Well, the let's not get them real pissed. Yo! You cast roadblocks. Stay out of sight. Wasn't clear. We're good. I think I'm losing them. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Well, looks like we're going, uh, what's it called? Well, there goes the cop. Wait! How am I supposed to know, bro? You could have told me to make a right. I got it, I got it, I got it. Cops is on us, cops is on us. Watch this, watch this. Be careful, Tom. No need right. more heat. Watch this. There go your ankle, stupid! <laughs> Baby, we got him! We got him! Hey, we good! We good! We good! Look at this! We're almost lose them. clear. Almost. All right. So I got him. I lose him. There we go. Ankle's gone again. Stop playing with me! That's why I'm the best driver in the game. All right. Don't need the cops back to the job. Pretty sure we're clear. We lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. All right, we're good. Oh, sorry. What, you wanna go to the big house? Move. Sorry. I broke all his stuff. Be careful, Tom. You don't need more heat. Or turn to Sally's bar. I think we're good, no? All officers, search okay. is called off. Repeat. We're back good. Search. Let's head back and see the boss. What happened to the okay, car my game. I sent you out with? Dumped it. Why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A, a, a better car with a, a, a broken window? Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. This I one is better. killed nobody. Sorry, man. Don't cut my brakes. You can cut his brakes, though. You ain't gotta come on. Because I'll cut your oxygen levels, too. Don't get it fucked up. He's still with you, then. Somehow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. After you, gentlemen. Hey, boss. Ooh. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. 
I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Yeah. Good. Good. Maybe dump a few bodies now, in the Paul river, dude. I've already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. Okay. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. Okay. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. <laughs> we'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Right. Yes, Mr. Salieri. So they paid off some cops. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. What is it? You know what that is, Tommy? Him. They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. That's cap. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. I like that. That's like family. It's loyalty. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Maron Tabon. I like this, yo. Job to complete Molotov party. Ordinary routine. Those 30. first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on. <laughs> what did I know? Huh? Finish, you know? You Tommy? Yeah. Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. My boss is waiting for me? The dawn is waiting? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Okay. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. All right. See, you can't do this nowadays. Mob ties don't work like Mom, that. Vinny Everyone got their own mob. Got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. All right. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Ah, no worries. At least we get us something. Even a story in this game is like a gem, to be honest. Makes me feel like I'm sanctioned. Hey, just the guy. Hey. I saw this, and I thought of you. What? 
Bro, what is this weak ass little gun? Give me a Tommy gun. Bro, you know what? I'll take it. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <sighs> right. That don't count. Point it at the target over there. All right. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Okay. Now show me. Not at me. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right. All right. Last thing. It needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny. Shut your corny ass up. Sorry, that was rude. All right, next up, Ralph. Uh, hello, 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 you hello. Guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said. Hey. Right. You, you you know how to get get, get into one of these, Tommy? I stole it. Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. Hmm. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Okay. Walk back the car. Come on, t -t Tommy. You know, it, it takes time to pick one. Have a good day, little fellas. Hey, you, 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 you too. I didn't start it there. What's wrong with this engine, my boy? First, we got Al. He All runs right. a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. Eh, that's too right. bad. Damn, we really running mob ties around here. Cop. It's all good. Turn this shitty ass radio off. Oh, shit. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're right. good. How's little Julia? Ha. So little now, she's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. <sighs> it's been right. real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you're worried. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? It's at the back of the shop, Tom. I'm getting, I'm just, I'm enjoying your chatters. Hello. All right. Cigar cards collected. Where's the money? Ron, fetch It's on the table, brown envelope. Got it. Via di qui. Suka bliat, shut up, bitch. Before I beat the fuck out you. Cuz these hands are ready to eat for everybody. Don't get into it. All in my hands on grandma's Let us too. Let know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. All right, let me read this. There, Mr. Pratolale. This letter is not is notification that you are in default of your obligations to make payment on your agreed loan. This amount has overdue since July 15, 1930. You have ignored request to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will not have a choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure on your home and business. Damn. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Get in the car. All right, next up. Hurry up, man. Okay, next up, we got old Eugene's place. China right. store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. Huh? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in... 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Hey. 
Ted? We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. No problem. Got it. It's a classic, man, I'll tell you that. It really is. Oh, sorry. I don't know, driving in this just feels more smoother. It's like it's almost... It's too smooth. I'll tell you that right now. It's way too smooth. And I felt a lot of smooth oh, stuff in my life, you. right? All right, my cheeks being one of them. What did he say? I got them bit booty baby cheeks. My booty baby cheeks. I'll cover this. Okay. Do your thing, my boy. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. You just gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Are you sure you don't need us? Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Jesus Christ. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's uh. nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Hmm. Okay. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You hmm. come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to. No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot? I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, I hate, I hate his laugh, but I also love it. It's like it's... I smell the crap it's a good laugh. Don't here. get me wrong. Nah, you didn't get me. Wait, I missed the exit. <laughs> sorry if this mic is all the way up in my face. <laughs> yeah, you what did. the f... Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, Stop crying, then. How far is this? I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, oh, this man. place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. <clears throat> drive safe, Tom. Right. Polly's real delicate. It's a bush, man. I didn't expect sure it to do. hit it. And that's how we can sell it so I expensive. try to make it shorter, Bill's but now I'm making it longer. gotta be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it, too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Okay. Fair enough. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? I'm missing it right now. You for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. But happy to oblige. Hmm. All right, well, we're here. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. You sure?
Damn it! I took one! Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. What the fuck? Yo, what? What? Alright. There! Hey! Over here! Gonna lay you right. out! I'm sorry. <laughs> Got him. Yo. Hold on. Ammunition? Hold on, I'm going in. No, I'm not. I lied. Find a way in. I'm coming, Sam. I got it. I got it. Got it. Yo, where my buddy at? You freaking criminals. First aid. Wait, let me get. Bro, hold on, bro. Yo, how do I get this? Hold on. I got it. Got him. What is this? Wait, why am I looking? Bro, why am I looking at a picture? I'm out here doing mob things, gangster things. All right, watch, this. watch out, watch out. Gotta reload. All right, hold on. It's a wild, it's a wild, wild west. I'm about to take them all to the wild, wild west. That ass. I'm dead. Got him. We spun out. Got him. Got him. I think that's it. Yo, I'm on one HP. Hold on, what is this? Pick a body. He's about to be my hostage. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. I got you, man. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. I'll oh, catch the bastard. Okay. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. I got it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, wait. I got it. Got it. Got him. I'm on it. Yo, give me my money back, you criminals. I'm on it. Pull over. Really? Watch out, bro. There you go. All right. Yeah, I want to play with the Don's money, right? I'm going to show y'all the Don. Show y'all how we get around, baby. Go. Put my money back. Hands up. Hands up. That was what it's gonna cost. What it meant to be on the inside. 
I should have took off there and then. Got my fucking but money I back. I couldn't go back to being a nobody. There we go. We got it. Chapter complete. Damn, I did that. Woo! So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just don't look. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. How somebody couldn't even have that power? He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, Joey got Crackers. his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Alright. Way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. Oh la la. Damn. God damn it! Moron! Look at the horn on the side Joey, of the car. Joey, goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh... I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... <laughs> Police just turned their eyes away. That's crazy. That's crazy. You need some sort of money to do that. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there. Says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. On Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh? Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze out for protection. Me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. All but right. I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. What's the fun? We about to find out. Fair play. Tommy. Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates okay. from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. 
and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. All right, listen, listen up here, guys. That is going to go ahead and do it for our very first episode on Mafia, the definitive edition. All right, listen, I want to see a part two. Like I said, I want to see 10,000 likes on this video, nothing less. 10,000 likes, and I got you Also, um, if you guys are new around here and you guys are just joining in on this series, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, hey, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. And I'm going to see y'all. Um, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I think. I should see you tomorrow. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Schedule looks a little funky, but I'm going to try to make it. I right, love you. I take care. Goodbye.